Welcome back. Democratic Senator Joe Manchin is putting up hurdles on President Biden's economic agenda, saying he won't support a reconciliation bill until there is greater clarity about the impact it'll have on national debt and the economy. Reed Binion has the latest. Enough is enough. It's time our elected leaders in Washington, all of us, stop playing games with the needs of the American people and holding a critical infrastructure bill hostage. Senator Joe Manchin not mincing words. The moderate Democratic senator from West Virginia is a key figure in passing President Biden's infrastructure agenda through Congress. And now Manchin says he won't throw his support behind the $1.75 trillion reconciliation bill that's been in negotiations for months. I will not support a reconciliation package that expands social programs and irresponsibly adds to our $29 trillion in national debt that no one seems to really care about or even talk about. Nor will I support a package that risks hurting American families suffering from historic inflation. Manchin's roadblock, a warning sign for Democratic leaders trying to pass a pair of legislative packages key to President Biden's agenda as soon as this week. We're tired of, uh, you know, just being uh, continuing to wait for one or two people. We trust the president that he will get 51 votes for this and we will pass both bills through the House as soon as we have these final negotiations wrapped up. In a statement, the White House says it remains confident President Biden's spending plan will gain the support of Senator Manchin and that the plan the House is finalizing meets Manchin's tests. I'm Reed Binion reporting. Basketball season already upon us. Beth is in next with highlights from the Bison game.